In this video, we're going to give you a quick demo of what the app is that you're going to all create, which is around movie trailers. So on my screen, you can see I've, I've got a few different ones and, you know, you, you won't have anything there just now, but I'm wanting to show you what the goal is for you to create with this movie trailer app. So if I just show you this, um, what you'll see straight away is this is what we call a splash screen. So it's kind of like a loading screen when your app is loading. It's really important, it's first impressions. Um, and then what we're um, entered into the app with is a map screen. And the idea of this is that we can see different cinemas or the close by cinemas um, and within Highlands, within Scotland, you can add as many as you like. And um, we can see there's Oban, Inverness, Aviemore. And when you click on, let's say, for example, the Oban Cinema, if you click on to navigate it, now I'm clicking on navigate here, but if this was actually on your phone, you'd be tapping on that. So if I go into navigate, it takes me to their Facebook page for the Oban Cinema, and I could scroll up down and um, get an idea of what's maybe playing there um, and maybe get contact details and things like that even got a book now button on their facebook page so that's the idea you've got a map screen and you can see where all these cinemas are the next tab along the bottom is the trailers now mine are quite old and um, what i want you to do is you're going to add trailers for any films you like. Um, it could be YouTube trailers, it could be sort of trailers for, um, I don't know, sort of like a TV show that doesn't even exist. I'm not really that fussed. It could be um, TV shows or movies, but what I would like you to do is when the user clicks onto them, it actually takes you to the YouTube video so that they can watch that. Um, so if I go back, you've obviously, you've got a ton of there that you can add in, um, and this one is a news tab. So if I click into that, this one is really quite, important because you'll notice my news probably when you're watching this video um, will be outdated but the idea of this is it's something that we call an RSS feed and it means that no matter how old your app is it's always got up to date news so if I was to click into this and um, I get a little bit more information and if I click on see full article it would take me to their website but this all automatically updates so every single day every few hours new news will automatically appear appear inside here so that's a really useful thing to have the next thing we've got is a gallery which just kind of summarizes some of the trailers and um, some of the sort of movie art for that trailers um, and then if we go to the booking page and um, what we've got is now i had more cinemas than this um, but we've got three cinemas there if i tap on them and this was you on your phone then what that would do is automatically start phoning them on your phone and um, down here we've got some links to their facebook or twitter um, and again this is sort of open to you as how many cinemas and links you would like to actually have on there for phone numbers and stuff so it's quite a simple app but again you've got a lot of flexibility because you can add as many trailers as you like you get to choose the trailers the same goes for the cinema locations you can add as many as you like or you might only want to add a few maybe you might want to do only the ones within highland and um, or maybe you want to do a specific area around glasgow or whatever so that's what the app does um, and it does work on your smartphone it will work on a tablet it will work on an android and an ios device and it will even work on a laptop or chromebook as well so that gives you an idea of what you're all going to build for this movie trailers app and then after you've done this, you're going to get a chance to create your own app on whatever you like um, using the skills that you've learned from the movie trailers app to help you do that.